Now, I don't know, I feel like I've got energy. I think it's because I have been alone all day and I'm finally talking to somebody. Well, a camera. I'm still alone, but I'm talking to you guys. I think the camera is crooked. That's gonna drive me nuts while I'm editing. Oh, that's better. Okay. Hi guys, today's video is going to be just some of my favorites. I am pretty sick right now. I am just like getting off of being sick. So it's almost been a week and I had a sinus infection and it was just really bad and not a fan. So that is why I haven't really posted any videos because I usually just like film and then edit and post it. Like I don't plan weeks ahead, which I probably should, lesson learned. But I thought it'd be fun to do a favorites video and I'm just the kind of person that honestly I just stick to what I like. And I feel like most girls aren't like that like they're always trying to find new things that they love and I used to be like that but now I just know what products I absolutely love and I just stick to it so some of these things are things I've been loving for years and some of these things are new so I thought I would share with you guys in the new products so before we get started be sure to follow me on my social media I'll put my Instagram on the screen I have a lot of fun pictures coming up I've been really inspired lately to take more pictures so that's what I've been doing and be sure to subscribe I have tons of hauls coming in and all sorts of stuff and also I finally finally posted my first video on my other YouTube channel called flourish it is a completely Jesus based YouTube channel so I'll have that link down below if you want to check it out I did my testimony over there and I was just really vulnerable and open with you guys so if you want to see that definitely check it out I'll link it down below but yeah with all that being said let's get started I have everything from beauty to um, clothes to really random stuff music podcasts all the above so we're gonna start with um let's do some beauty stuff first because i really don't have that much first things first is this foundation this is the rodent and fields radiant defense um what i absolutely love about this foundation is that it has spf 30 in it and in the summertime i am pale as can be like this is probably like the tannest i'll ever be in my life honestly i need to wear spf all the time so i love having this because you put it on and you're wearing spf 30 on your face which protects your face and what's cool is that this also has their acne medicine in it so i love this i've been using this for a few months now it has lasted me a while like there's still plenty in there so i'll have this link down below rodent and Beals is the kind of thing where like you've got to buy it from a seller so i'll have my seller link down below if you want to check it out and i'll have like the information if you email her and tell her that you came from my channel and you buy something she'll give you a free gift so definitely check this out okay next thing um I'm gonna do this so I don't know if this is cheating because literally I used this for the first time this morning and I wasn't planning on it like I said I like to keep with my products and you guys know I love my covergirl lash blast volume mascara it's the one in the orange tube it's like so old like it's been around for forever and I love it it's my favorite um but it was in my car and lazy Jacqueline did not want to go down to the car and go get it so I found this in my drawer and I was like I'll use this I got this who knows how long ago honestly probably to the point of where I shouldn't use it anymore but hey it worked and I like kind of love it it's like my eyelashes are super long is it weird if I zoom it in I don't know if you guys will be able to see them move my light my lighting is really bad but like guys do you see how long they look now I do have to say they don't look as voluminous as usual. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit more. I feel like the CoverGirl makes my lashes a little bit more like volume wise, but the roller lash makes it like... So I've only used it once, so I don't know how much of a favor this can be, but I just thought I'd mention it. Okay, next thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is like an OG product for me. I think this was my first bronzer ever. I stopped using it because I got into the, oh goodness, what is it called? Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And then I got into the Bobbi Brown Bronzer, which is like super expensive and something I should not get into, but it was really good. And then the other day I was like, you know what? I'm going to try out this just because I guess I've been a little crazy with my makeup and I can't smell anything, but I know that this smells like chocolate and it is so good. So this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. Love this stuff. Literally, it's been my favorite for so long. I know I've had this for a while because this is the old packaging and honestly this will forever be a favorite what I need to do is like at the end of 2019 I need to just make like a complete favorites video like you know what I mean like a year's worth of favorites because I'm the kind of person where I just keep the same things and I keep using them over and over and I've had favorites for a while okay 
Now on to, okay, this is just a common question and I'm just gonna address it. People are always asking, Jacqueline, how are your teeth so white? I mainly get on Instagram. I promise I do not whiten my teeth on, like I don't use apps. I don't any, I never correct, okay, little tangent. I never correct how I look. Um, I mean, like, I edit the picture, like, I edit the lighting, and I use presets, but in no way does that change my face structure, my, the color of my teeth, or anything. With this society, girls need to stop making themselves look flawless, because it, it's just not, it's just not real. It's not real, and it creates this standard where a girl looks at that and goes, man, I want my skin to be that smooth, and little does she know it's completely edited, and then she tries to do it, and then they find the editing app, and they're like, oh, I'm going to fix my face, and then next thing you know, you are fixing your face on a screen, and then whenever you look at yourself in the mirror, you're going to think that you're ugly when you're not, you know? Like, I, it just... Don't even get me started. I need to stop. But like it really makes me mad. So girls, and I know it's like it, it's like a downward spiral. Like once you start, it's almost like you can't stop. But I beg you if you're doing that, please don't do that. Not only are you hurting yourself by saying, hey, like I'm not pretty enough. I need to fix my face on this app. But you're hurting other girls because of comparison. And there you're setting the standard of a fake perfect, you know? Anyway. Off my tangent, back to the point, I use these two things. This is not sponsored at all. Now, if Crest was like, hey, do you want to work with us? I'd be overjoyed because literally I am like the most Advent Crest user and I tell everybody what I do with my Crest products, okay? So, for as long as I can remember, I literally, I think ever since I got my braces off, I've been using the Crest 3D White Radiant Mint, that's the best flavor, Toothpaste. It's so good. It's amazing. It literally does wonders. And then every once in a while, I don't do these often, um, I'll use some 3D whitening strips. These are very expensive, just warning you. But they do work, and they're great. You just put them in for like 30 minutes or something, and then you take them off. And it's just amazing. But honestly, this is what I use every single day, twice a day, sometimes three or four times a day. I'm weird about brushing my teeth. That's another thing. I think I just brush my teeth super often. It's something that I've always done. I'm super weird about like my hygiene. Um, and I also use a Philips electric toothbrush. I think that is another big roll into my like teeth being white kind of deal. And I'm not sitting here going like, yeah, I have the absolute most perfect teeth. I'm just saying people ask me all the time and I'm just giving you the info of what I do. Okay, next thing, this is so weird. This is, um, I feel like most people wouldn't share this, but I'm very open about my hyperhidrosis issue. So I sweat a lot. I have a lot of sweating issues, whether it's my armpits, my hands. Worst part is my crotch. I know, I know, it's really gross, but I'm very open on here. And it is just, it is just miserable and my armpits and my crotch are like the worst areas. Um, my armpits are like the most obvious ones to other people, but like the crotch is just... I mean, you can guess. Sorry, this is getting a little too TMI, but anyway. So, my doctor or my... what are they called? My... What is the skin doctor called? My dermatologist, there we go, recommended this stuff. So it's Carpe and it's just like an antiperspirant for your hands because my hands also sweat, which is awful whenever I'm trying to write stuff and then the page is wet and it smears the ink and it's just a bad combo, okay? So I love this stuff. I put it on my hands. Now I do have to say the first time I used it, it made my hands feel super weird. I was not a fan of it. So what I do is I put it in my hand. I put it on really fast like lotion. It doesn't feel like lotion. It's like a weird... I don't know, and then I wash my hands, and then I pat them dry, and they're good to go. And this brand also makes an armpit one, and I think a foot one too. My feet, thank Jesus, don't sweat that bad. I don't know what it is, but that's good, because who wants stinky feet, you know? But if you have stinky feet, that's okay. Okay, next thing. This perfume, um, I don't wear perfume every day. Like, I really, really, really want to be one of those girls that, like, walks in a room and like you smell that smell and you know it's them kind of thing like everybody knows that person that has that like for example my roommate Alexa has like this smell that she has and every time I smell it, I'm like oh where's Alexa you know so anyway I don't wear this every day but when I wear it I love it and this is the pink warm and cozy just body spray I can't smell anything it's so frustrating but it says it's vanilla and sunburst passion fruit it's definitely like a fruity sweet scent but like a little warm which I guess 
hence the warm and cozy. Now on to like face and hair, which everybody always asks, Jacqueline, can you do a skincare routine? You would die if you knew my skincare routine, okay? I would say the only thing I do consistently is take my makeup off at night. But, but, lately, I've been using this, and I'm not, this is not sponsored. I am working with them on Instagram, but they sent me this, and I'm just really liking it. So this is the Neutrogena, um, this is the oil-free acne wash. This is the facial cleanser from the grapefruit line, and then this is just the like foaming scrub from the grapefruit line. And guys, if there is any benefit about this product besides like what it does for your face, it's the smell. It smells so good. But I am doing a campaign with them on Instagram, just saying that. This is not sponsored, but loving the stuff. Okay, next thing. This is my OG hair product. I feel like I've got to mention it every so often because I forget to tell you guys, but this is like... I can't live without this product. I use this every single day, everywhere I go when I'm traveling. I take this, my Bible, my phone, and my phone charger, and my retainer. And if I forget anything else, like, it's fine. But if I forget those things, like, it's not okay. Um, and this is on that list. This is a lifesaver. I've used this for years, and when I don't use it, it's bad. So anyway, the best thing about this besides how it makes my hair feel and the fact that it's a heat protectant, all of that, it's a detangler. When I get out of the shower, I mean my hair is just a mess, but you spray this in there and it's like, when you're brushing your hair, it's just like butter. You just brush through it. It's great. I know it's expensive. It is so, so expensive. Like I'm pretty sure this bottle is like $45, but it's one of those things. It's one of those things I started and I can't stop and I will forever use this. Okay, so today it's just a TMI sesh, okay? This is a, probably more information than you guys need to know, but I'm just trying to help a girl out, okay? My favorite underwear. <sighs> so you guys know I have sweating problems down there, and this stuff is the best for it. It just works well. So I prefer thongs, once again, TMI. They're just the most comfortable to me, and they're also practical. No panty lines, because who wants panty lines? Honestly, I don't. If you want them, that's okay. But this is the um, Exhilaration, that's all I know. It's by the brand Exhilaration, and I get a size small. That's also information you don't need to know. But this is what they look like, okay? They all look the same. They all have the same thing, like band color, different color. And then there's your, like, plain colors. And honestly, guys, I think I own every color that they have, probably every pair that they have, because these are my and anytime I wear any other underwear, I absolutely hate it. So if you're looking for some good underwear that's affordable, go to Target and get this. It's the best. Okay, next thing, I have just been loving dresses. Just dresses in general. I just grabbed this one, honestly, so I wouldn't forget to talk about it. But this is just one from Altered State. Still haven't worn it yet, but I've just been on a dress kick. I think it's just because it's summer and... Trying to find a pair of modest shorts, it's hard, okay? Um, I found a few pairs that I love, and by the way, a little plug here, I'm planning on talking about modesty over on my Flourish channel. Um, I think that's going to be not the next video that I do, but the next one that I do, so maybe go subscribe over there if you want to see that. But dresses are easy. You throw it on. It's a one-time thing. It's so easy to pack. I feel like I've been... <sighs> I've not been home for a week straight, like, since summer started. I'm always traveling. That's why the videos are, like, a little low. I'm sorry about that. But dresses are easy. You throw it in a bag. You throw it on. Boom. You're good to go. Oh, before I forget, one of my favorites, I'm wearing them right now. If you guys have been watching my recent videos, you're not going to be surprised. You're probably going to be like, Jacqueline, we know you love these shorts. But, guys, I got to tell you again. The Lululemon Speed Up 4 inch, let me say it again, 4 inch, okay, not 2 inch, that's way too short, those are booty shorts, I don't know how girls wear those, they are so short, but the 4 inch, they're just perfect, okay, I'm going to stand up and show you, this is what they look like, this is the cute little periwinkle color, okay, these are my favorite, and listen, I know they're expensive. I know it. I know it. I know it. Listen, I never thought I'd be one of those Lululemon girls, just because it's ridiculous. I know it's ridiculous how much they cost. But guys, they're so worth it. They're so worth it. So maybe just work a little harder and save up for it or get it for a birthday present. You only need like one pair, you know, but once it starts, let me warn you, once you start, there may be no stopping. So just have discipline, okay? Make sure you're there with your discipline before you get one of these. But I love them. They're amazing. 
You can probably find them on sale like towards the end of summer and I would get a pair again four inch not two inch okay now I don't know I feel like I've got energy I think it's because I have been alone all day and I'm finally talking to somebody well a camera I'm still alone but I'm talking to you guys next thing has been this Bible so this is the ESV study Bible and if you guys know, I have been reading the Bible from Genesis, and I'm going to read it till Revelations. So from cover to cover. And if you guys know anything about the Bible, there's the Old Testament, there's the New Testament. The New Testament holds the New Covenant, which is what we are in now. The Old Testament has the Old Covenant, two very different things, but still, you know, one thing. And both are important. So... Someone said it to my dad. I heard my dad say this other day, and it was amazing, you know? Here's two sides, right? You've got the Old Testament and the New Testament. I'm actually in Psalms, so it's really not split in half, but just pretend that this is the Old Testament and this is the New Testament. I think it said, the bird can't fly with only one wing. You need both the Old Testament and the New Testament, but very important that the Old Testament is the Old Covenant, and we are in the New Covenant. So the things that are in the Old Testament don't apply as the things in the New Testament do. Anyway... It's a lot to explain. I am probably not, I'm just probably confusing people. I am so sorry. Anyway, just saying that the Old Testament is very hard to read, okay? Because it's a lot of, it's just very different than, than the Christianity that we have now. It, it wasn't Christianity. Christianity is when Jesus died and resurrected, okay? And so it's just difficult to read um, just because it's a lot of like, laws and a lot of crazy things going on because the world was just a totally different place so this has been amazing because it's a study bible and it just gives you context and if you've ever tried to read through genesis which i finished genesis i'm in exodus it's kind of hard okay but if you read it like gives you it's amazing it gives you just details at the bottom so bible's up here details are at the bottom so i have my other bible out which is downstairs right now but i read from my other bible and if i have questions i read the like bottom part of this because it explains it for you it is like a bible for dummies and i'm a dummy so i need this okay so I recommend getting a study Bible, and be sure to get the same version as your Bible. If you've got NIV, get an NIV study Bible. I use ESV just because an ESV Bible was given to me. Now on to music and podcasts and all of those super, super fun things. So, first of all, let's go with music, okay? Um, so, wow, I haven't talked about my favorite music in a while. I feel like on Flourish, I kind of want to do like favorite worship songs, but we're going to do, guys, you're going to be proud of me. You're going to be proud of me. I've got more than just worship music this time. I very rarely, and not like it's bad, like I just don't listen to things other than worship music. I listen to some country, especially since it's summer. I feel country in the summertime, but Dara showed me some good music and I'm going to share it with you guys. So first of all, some guy that I've been loving, not that I love him, but his music is what I meant to say. His name is Sam Henshaw, and he has a really popular song called Broke, um, but my favorite one is called Church, and no, it's not like a Christian church song. It's just kind of funny. Um, but what I love about his music is that it's clean, like he doesn't cuss in it, which is fun because I don't really like to cuss. I don't Okay, not that I don't really like to cuss. I don't like to cuss. I don't cuss. And so whenever a song cusses, it's like, it ruins my vibe when I just can't sing along, you know? So, anyway, his music is good. It's it's the hip-hop and rap genre. Um, it's upbeat, it's fun, and it's pretty clean from what I've heard. I only have, like, four of his songs, so. Um, another artist that I have been loving, I think, is called X's, yes. So she's got some pretty good music. Which one's the one that I like the most? Let's see. Taxi. It's called Taxi. It's a catchy song. I'm loving it. And she's an alternative artist. I don't know how, I don't have many of her songs either. I don't know how she is, but it's good. It's catchy and I can feel it if I'm like wanting some, you know, upbeat music. Okay. Now, lately I have been listening to um, a lot of Will Reagan and the United Pursue and House Fires, like that kind of like vibe, you know, the chill, like really deep songs kind of vibe and recently I found a new song I didn't find a new song my, somebody told me about this song and I love it it's called highest praise by Phil Wickham it's absolutely amazing it's so good it's simple it's repetitive and it's just 
it's just really good. So if you guys want, you can follow me on Apple Music. Sorry, I don't have Spotify. I know people are always like, please make a Spotify. I don't have a Spotify. I use Apple Music just because, and I know this is the dumbest reason, it's aesthetically pleasing. It's white. Spotify is black and green and just kind of dark feeling, but like Apple Music is bright and white and red and happy. I've been also loving All Praise by Sean Kieran. Karen, Kieran, yeah, Kieran. I'm gonna go with that. He is from Passion. I love any, all of my favorite Passion songs, like, he sings, and it's not because he sings them, it's just, there's just something about it, I don't know, so I tend to, like, make him my favorite. And then, obviously, the new Hillsong album. Guys, I went to the concert. I didn't post about it because, like, I was just so there that I didn't even think about it, okay? But this album is amazing. I recommend downloading the visual album and all you Spotify users, you can't do that. So yeah, go Apple Music. That's like the one thing we have a one up on. Um, as for country music, what up what have I been loving in the country music genre? Um, I don't know. I'm honestly like a Dan and Shay kind of girl. Thomas Rhett's new album, it's okay. Not my favorite. Yeah. And then okay, let's just address something. The new Taylor Swift songs, you guys know, I love Taylor Swift. I don't love, okay, let me rephrase that. I don't love her, I love her music, okay? I've been a major Taylor Swift fan since the beginning, okay? I've been an OG fan. I, like, worked really hard in elementary school just to go to her concert because, like, I had to pay for the ticket kind of thing. Anyway, her new songs, like, okay, put aside the political crap, like, they're not even Taylor Swift material. You know, like the lyrics aren't like, whoa. So I'm really disappointed in her new, her new two songs. And then politically, it just really aggravated me just because of the, okay, I'm probably gonna get ridiculed for this, but I don't really care. What I'm mad about is like, if you watch the music video, she's calling out like Christians, like she's pretty much telling them they need to calm down. And what? she is doing in that music video kind of like mocking Christians is what she's mad about for those Christians who any Christian that mocks that I truly don't believe they're a believer I'm sorry we are supposed to be known for loving above all else I may not agree with what you're doing but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna love you um she is doing exactly what she's mad at them for doing does that make sense anyway it just kind of annoys me just saying retaliation isn't always the best thing um, so I've heard this saying that the oppressed always become the oppressors. So just think about that, okay? And I mean, I've been loving the old Jonas Brothers, if I'm going to be honest. Year 3000, OG song, um, Camp Rock, like, yes, please. So I've been enjoying that. And then Aladdin. Oh my goodness, yes, Aladdin. Best movie ever, I think I can say. Um, that is such a good movie. I've only seen it once. I want to go see it again. I love it so, so much. Like, the songs make me want to dance. The movie is so much fun. Um, anyway, great movie. Such a good movie. I've been filming for like 30 minutes. I need to hurry up. This always happens with favorite videos because I just ramble. But let's see. Okay, podcast. We're going to go into podcast and we're going to be done. So, like I said, I've been traveling a ton. Like, every week I am somewhere. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts because whenever I drive, I like to, like, listen to podcasts and music. But I get bored if I just listen to music. And so I throw some podcasts in there. And, guys, so you guys know I love The Porch. Always am the biggest porch fan. I will always be recommending it to people, and I feel like so many people have given such good feedback about it. So if you haven't seen The Porch, you need to do that. It's not, I don't know if I'd call it a podcast, because it's just their sermons. Then they have a podcast called Views from the Porch, which, cute name, props to them for that, which, big fan of as well. They're like 30 minute things, it's more of a conversation. And I love it. It just talks about things that not necessarily aren't so biblical, but like things that obviously the Bible doesn't give an exact answer on, but you can use wisdom from things that you know in the Bible to kind of come up with discernment of what to do about a situation. Like dating is not in the Bible, so it's helpful to get knowledge on it by 
looking at the Bible and what does it say about certain things like dating. It's an evaluation process. So the Bible has tons of things about evaluating people. And so you use that and apply it to dating because back then dating wasn't a thing ever. There were arranged marriages. So, okay, once again, another tangent. I'm just going off of. So been loving the porch, been loving views from the porch, and I've really been loving Harrison Creek. So you porch users no so jp was a part of the porch he was the head pastor but he moved on to being like the head pastor of a church instead of just the young adults ministry over in waco at harrison creek so um i know that was probably a really hard decision for him but it's awesome that he followed that calling to that so anyway he's got a young adults podcast over there called becoming something and that has always been good it's funny and it's knowledgeable same with views from the porch i love them both so those are ones i always listen to those are all christian ones now i have some non-christian ones that i've been loving let me find it okay so i've only watched one of these but the Real Real from Natalie Barbu, Ugh, is that her name? I don't know, but I've really been enjoying that. That was really good. I watched her How Do YouTubers Make Money because as a YouTuber, I was curious like what her experience is, if that makes sense. I watched that and it was really good. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. It stopped recording, how rude. But if you haven't seen it, check it out. I've always wanted to do a podcast, but I just don't have time for that. So props to her for doing that. So check it out. I'll have everything linked down below. This video is way, way too long. So my camera shutting off is telling me, Jacqueline, stop talking. So that's what I'm gonna do. I hope you guys enjoy your day. Don't forget to check out my social media and my other channel, Flourish. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. As always, I always try and do that and I know you guys like it. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.